representing proportional relationships with equations 3.1b. A proportional relationship can be described by an equation of the form y is equal to kx, where k is called the constant of proportionality. Now we learned about this in 7th grade math 4.2c, which is linked in this description if you have forgotten it or haven't seen it. Sometimes the equation is useful to use as another form as k is equal to y over x, y divided by x, or y divided by x equals k. Now some of you are asking, how can the equation be written in two different ways, as y equals kx or as k equals y divided by x? What we do is we divide y equals kx both sides by x. When we do that, these have the same numerator and denominator, and it becomes a 1. So we have k times 1 on this side. We have y divided by x on this side. It would be the same as if we had 6 is equal to 2 times 3, and we divided both sides by 3, and this became a 1. So we had 2 times 1 on this side and 6 divided by 3 on this side. The equation can be written to another form by dividing both sides by x. That's how y is equal to kx can become y divided by x is equal to k. So here's our first problem. Dave earns $20 per hour at his job. Show that the relationship between the amount he earned and the number of hours he worked is a proportional relationship. Then write an equation for the relationship. So step one is we make a table relating the amount earned to number of hours. So we've got if he works one hour, he's going to make $20. If he works two hours, he's going to make $40. And we complete our table. For each hour Dave works, he earns $20. So for eight hours of work, he earns eight times 20, $160. Step two, for each number of hours, write the relationship of the amount earned and the number of hours as a ratio in simplest form. So now, even though the table has hours on the top and amount earned on the bottom, we're going to flip these around and we're going to put the amount earned on top and the number of hours on the bottom. So our ratio is 20 to 1. No matter how many hours he works, the ratio is 20 to 1. Since the ratios for amount earned to number of hours are all equal to the ratio 20 to 1 in simplest form, the relationship is proportional. Step 3, we write an equation. We're going to let x equal the number of hours and we're going to let y equal the amount earned. We use the ratio that 20 over 1 as the constant of proportionality in the equation y is equal to kx. So our equation is y is equal to 20 over 1x, or we can say, because that's equal to 20, isn't it? y is equal to 20x. That's our equation. Using the equation y is equal to 20x, in which y is the amount earned and x is the number of hours worked, we can find how much Dave earned from working 40 hours. We put 40 in place of x, and we have y is equal to 20 times 40. We know the amount earned y is equal to $800. Here's another problem. Sarah makes four bracelets per hour. Show that the relationship between the number of bracelets made and the number of hours she works is a proportional relationship. Then write an equation for the relationship. So we're going to write the number of bracelets over the number of hours and We've got 4 to 1 as our ratio. That means if she makes 8 bracelets in 2 hours, we still have a 4 to 1 ratio. We make sure to divide the bracelets by the hours since it's per hour. Our equation is y is equal to 4x. Since we know she can make 4 bracelets per hour, we can put any amount of hours here for x and know the number of bracelets that she'll be able to make. There are 10 dimes in each dollar. The relationship between the number of dimes to dollars is proportional. We have the number of dimes and the number of dollars. 10 dimes is one dollar. Our ratio is 10 to one. Even if we have 20 dimes, that would be two dollars. When we put it in its simplest form, it's still 10 to one. If we have 30 dimes, 
it will equal $3, and our ratio is still 10 to 1 in simplest form. The equation that describes this relationship is y is equal to the ratio 10 to 1, x, or y is equal to 10x. Now take a look at this table. We have number of gallons and we have number of pints. The table shows the number of pints per gallon. This is a proportional relationship. The equation that describes this relationship is y is equal to the ratio 8 to 1, x, or y is equal to 8x. We have 8 over 1, which is equal to 8 over 1 in its simplest form. We have 16 over 2 for 16 pints for 2 gallons in its simplest form. That's 8 over 1, 8 to 1. And if we have 24 pints, that's 3 gallons. And in simplest form, that's still an 8 to 1 ratio. And so is 32 pints and 4 gallons. That's an 8 to 1 ratio. So the equation is y is equal to 8x. 8 is our constant of proportionality. That would be the k in y equals kx. We're finished with b. We're going to move on to c representing proportional relationships with graphs. Remember, if you're a little rusty on constant of proportionality, you can click the description and watch 7th grade math 4.2c. It's not a very long video at all. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.